Hi Stampers, Linda here from Stampin' Sista. I wanted to show you this really cute little holiday card that you can make um, for the upcoming Christmas season. Um, it's really simple to do and it's so much more personal than going out and buying tags from the store. So I'm going to show you how to get started in making this with our scallop tag topper punch. So what we're going to do is you're going to take a piece of uh, brown sugar paper and this measures two inches, just slightly under two inches, um, by four inches long. And you're just going to go ahead and insert it into the tag punch, and that gives you that beautiful little topper on there. Love it. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do the ribbon right away. This is about five and a half inches of Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Again, just kind of just stick it right through this little hole here. Um, you're going to take a piece of gold baker's twine ribbon, again about five inches, and just go ahead and just tie it right on the top here. And I just knotted it. You can make a bow if you want. You have enough actually if you wanted to, but we're just going to go ahead and knot it right up there. Then we're going to go ahead and start making our snowman. Um, so to make the snowman, you're going to take a, just a scrap piece of whisper white paper and your one inch circle punch. Go ahead and do the body and then take your three-quarter inch circle punch and go ahead and punch that out for the head. And then as far as his little scarf that we made for him, what I did is I took a piece of Project Life washi tape, and this is, I think, from the Adventures Pack. I'll put up the information on the blog. I just went ahead and took it and I folded it in half so it sticks upon itself. Um, go ahead and just make sure that you square off the ends and you might have to trim it down a little bit, whatever length you want to make his little scarf. Then I went ahead and just flagged the end of one of them, just to give it more of a scarf-like appearance. There we go. And then I glued that down onto the little snowman. For the little eyeballs, I just used a 1 8 inch um, handheld punch. Actually, I think this is 1 16th inch now that I think about it. Um, and just take a little piece of uh, basic black cardstock and you're going to go ahead and punch out a couple little eyes. Oh, let's have a little leftovers in there. And then for the nose, I just took a little piece of pumpkin pie paper, take um, the corner and just cut off a corner and that gives you your little nose. And again, you can just trim this to whatever length you want. If you want to have a nice long nose, then you can do that that way. Go ahead and just glue all that together. Put your little eyes on there. I used a little white um, gel pen to go ahead and dot the eye a little bit, just to give it some reflection there and give it a little more life. As far as the little buttons on our little snowman, I went ahead and used um, our rhinestones. And I used the smallest one and just go ahead and apply a couple little rhinestones to make his buttons just to give it a little flare. For his mouth, I just simply took a black gel pen and just went ahead and made a couple little dots for his mouth. Again, as big or as little as you want. Get his little nose back in place. Just for purposes of the video, I'm just kind of going a little quicker and not gluing down everything, but you get the idea. Whoops, boy, he's really got a crazy nose now. Um, and then as far as the saying on the bottom, I, again, I use the Project Life Holiday Cheer stamp set. I love Project Life Holiday Cheer. This is so cute. It's got a little, little fall thing and um, a lot of Christmas things and beyond. So it's really a great stamp set. So I went ahead and just stamped the um, Holiday Cheer one on the bottom there and using the chocolate chip ink. And with the stamp pads with the clear ones. It's awesome because you can see exactly where you need to put it. And that's on there really cute. And that's all there is to that part. And then the last little part, just to give it a little more bling, I used our frosted sequins. Love these. There are 450 pieces in this little box here, believe it or not. So you can make a lot of tags and a lot of cards and a lot of scrapbook pages with this. Um, and what it comes with is these large Go, uh, silver sequins and then also inside of there are the little snowflakes which are adorable and I'm going to show you real quick how I put these on because it's just a lot easier to see it. Um, I've taken our mini glue dots and go ahead and um, take one off place it down on your paper 
I'm using my paper piercer to do this. It just makes it a lot easier so it doesn't stick to your finger. Then go ahead and take another glue dot, place it on top of your silver sequin, and then take your snowflake and place it on top of that. Adorable. Love it. Go ahead and put your other silver sequin down. And we'll do the same thing and just put a couple of these down just to give it that extra little glitz again. And just repeat the process. Get a little glue dot here, place it down. And again, always use a tool to do this. It's just so much easier than having it stick into your finger. And that's all there is to it. To actually put down the snowman, I just used dimensionals to put, it, um, put him down on the paper. And um, that's all there is. So it's very simple, really fast and fun. Hope you enjoyed that today. Have a great day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.